ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وسلم يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد قال الله تعالى في الكتاب المجيد فرقان الحميد اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر ان الانسان لفي خسر الا الذين امنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر سر سم اوكي Yeah. I will paraphrase so that Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala paraphrase the Arabic portion of khutba indeed all praises to God almighty we praise him we ask for his help we seek refuge in him from our inner soul and from our bad deed whom so ever God almighty guides no one can stray whom so ever he does not guide no one can guide I bear witness no one is worthy of worship except God almighty Muhammad peace be upon him his messenger and his servant peace and blessing upon him and his followers zakul khair O believers have a conscious awareness of God almighty they not accept total submission to God God, God almighty O mankind have a conscious awareness of God almighty he has created you from a single soul from that soul he made many pairs especially be dutiful to those whom you have mutual rights indeed God is all watching Believers have a conscious awareness of God. Speak nothing but the truth, so He can rectify your deeds. He can forgive your sins. Best among you is to follow God Almighty and Muhammad peace be upon Him. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. But for today's khutbah, I have chosen a surah, the second smallest surah in Quran, out of 114, Surah Al-Asr. I believe it's Surah number 103. Al-Asr in the insan al-fi khus. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala swear by time. Indeed, a mankind is in deficit, in khasara, except the four kind of people. People, those who do the four things: amanu wa amilu salihat, wa tawasu bil haq, wa tawasu bil sabr. Those who believe in Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, those who do the good deeds, those who stand for the haq, for right path, and guide each other for patience and perseverance. I have chosen this surah. in the context of as i mentioned many times the khutbah is just a reminder for myself and for the community what happened in the past week what's our guidelines for the next week it's kind of sort of a reminder as a congregation prayer it's our bylaws or guidance what's going on in the community what we need to do what we're supposed to do just a reminder in the context of what muslim ummah is going through i have chosen this aya chosen this surah what i've read this surah many times We understand the meaning of this. The question is that do we understand the message of it? And that surah fits into current culture, current situation the Muslim Ummah is going through. I believe in last foot by here. I mentioned that this is the best time for Muslims in America. This is the best time for Muslims in America. Many of you will be thinking, how? How is possible? People are scared. They've been defamed. the nervous the planning to travel to new zealand to canada the leaving the country you know you can imagine anything you want to but you know what quran tells us in surah al-nashra whenever you have a hardship there is always ease what is our purpose why are we here why why are we here in the masjid to begin to go, just do the sajda you know masjid is place for sajda just you know do sajda bow down prostrate in front of allah Allah is everywhere. In Allah, no one is shame to deal. Ali Muhammad Zat is Sadu. He is everywhere. We are praying at home. He knows our heart. So why do we get together? At least Allah wants us to get together eight day, within eight day. Surah Jumaah, Surah number sixty-two. Allah instructs us. 
يعني الذين آمنوا إذا نودي للصلاة من يوم الجمعة من يوم الجمعة لا تقول ده keep on working do whatever you want but part of the day get together why to get to know each other to prostrate in congregation to know what's going on in the community to find what other Muslim is feeling what is going on what are the issue what are the concern that brother used to come here he's not here anymore what happened but well, he's in a hospital did you visit him well, his house is in foreclosure. Did you help him? We must have been, you know, right now renovated. The roof is being repaired. It's the best time. I'm going to Salih Do we? We're just here to make money. Alhamdulillah, blessing. But we have to make sure that purpose in this dunya is to get involved. Every single thing possibly you can get involved. So long as halal. That simple. You go to restroom, to your spousal responsibility. Any and everything in between you're doing, you're obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You're earning decent living, you're driving car to masjid, you're driving cab, you're doctor, you're engineer, you're lawyer, you're professor, you're school teacher. Anything you do that has to do with what? The purpose. Muslims are not without purpose. There's a reason for us to be here. Now, reason was what? To praise Allah? Yes, yeah, sure. Allah has created us what? To To do ibadah. Is it? Allah has tons of angels. You can't even imagine how many angels are worshipping constantly. So then what is the purpose? The purpose of you and me is to come in this dunya, worship Allah, but there are other things involved. Your, your own free will, your greed, your ego, there are a lot of other things involved, your family, your culture, your baggage, your gender, your background, the house, the car you drive, the dress code you wear, the neighborhood you live in, the language you speak, the lot of baggage. But that's what you need to navigate and you stay on path and you need to interact with those things. That's what purpose is. If Allah just wanted us to have a father, he could have made us angel. Khair of Allah, he's the best one. He could have created something different. He created us to get involved in this dunya and stay focused on the board, not by sitting in the masjid 24-7. That's another irony. But let me give you an example from Umar bin Khattab, greatest Khalifa. He was leading Salah, the guy was in the first row, praying right behind Umar. Amir al great Sahabi, Ashra Mubashra, right? Brilliant. Then come to the first Saf first rakah and in prayer with the first salah, first first takbirat ahimah. He'd been doing it for a couple of days and Omar asked him, Hey, do you have a family? So yes, I do. Who is your part of family? I have one sister, uh, mother and uh, my brother. Who takes care of them? While my brother does take care of my mother and me. What did Omar say? Great job, come back and do it Kaf here. You know, memorize Surah Kaf. Perfect, stay here. No. It's Amir al Who is that? Ya ayyul lazina amanu wa atiyu Allah wa atiyu Rasul wa awli al-amri minkum. O believers obey Allah, Allah's Rasul and your Amir al-Mu'mineen. He is Amir al-Mu'mineen. It tells the gentleman, no, 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 no. Wallah billahi what your brother does, take one step toward earning halal risk, is much better than you spending time here. What? This masjid, Omar is telling the guy to get out of here? No, he's telling come pray, great job, come pray. But the ultimate purpose is to get involved. When you're going to earn money, it's going to be tough. Because scholars say wherever your heart, you know, your monies are, that's where your heart is. If your heart, your money is in the bank, your heart is in the bank. Your money is in investment 4K, your heart is in 401K. Your money is in retirement, your heart is there. But if your money is in the path of Allah, for the donation next door for masjid, your heart is in the masjid. Your money is donation for the refugees for Syria, your feelings for the Syrians. Your money is for the people at public at large, the Muslim community, Sadiqah Zakat, your heart is there. Wherever your money is, heart goes there. But once you go out there and try to earn money, it's very hard. It's not that easy. Sometimes greed comes, sometimes opportunity comes, you see money, great, why not? No, 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 that's extra money, that's not my heart. I just need to take what's mine rightfully. So this involvement aspect that we need to focus, and we are not. Imam Shafi said that this, let's come back to the surah, the Quran is best guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but for me the surah is more than enough. 
Some people say the surah was in Mecca, it's for Meccan people, but the Quran is forever. So it's a message for today as well. So we're not going to focus on Meccan aspect, we're going to focus on today's aspect. Walasa. What is Walasa? Allah's will by time. Why time? Allah's will by Fashams, when Nahar. But here specifically say, Walasa. I swear by time. Why time? Why? We read, recite Quran. We don't know what it is. What is the purpose? Afala yatabbaroon. When are you going to ponder about it? When are you going to think about it? Why Allah chose Asr? Why Allah chose time? Why? Did that have some reason? Only He knows. But Allah has given us aql and farms. Think about it. Ask scholars. Ask people who have knowledge. What they mean? Well, Asr, some scholars say it's a swear by time. What is the time? Doesn't matter where you are on the planet. Doesn't matter what are you doing. Doesn't matter how far you are in your profession. Doesn't matter how much power, authority you have. This is one thing that is constantly slipping away. Constantly slipping away, which is time. It's slipping away. Doesn't matter how much power you have, how much authority you have. This is something you have no control. It is constantly slipping away. Well, also, I swear by time. <clears throat> Those who speak Arabic, the grammar aspect is emphasis. Indeed, the mankind is in deficit. The khasar, the khasara, the word is used, it's not in debt. It's a khasara, it's a bankruptcy. Indeed, you're bankrupt. Why bankruptcy? How does bankruptcy work? The person declares the bankruptcy when your assets are small and your liabilities are growing and growing and growing and you can't get your way out of this, you cannot navigate out of it. The house mortgage, you miss a couple of payments because you went to hospital or something, no, your earning is 800 bucks a month, your mortgage is 16, guess what? Doesn't matter how hard you try, that mortgage, the interest is going to keep on popping up, popping up, and one day you're going to say, you know what, my assets are low, my liabilities are high, let's declare bankruptcy. That's what bankruptcy is. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inna l'insana lafi, khusr. Insan, the human being, is in bankruptcy. Why? Because our amal are decreasing constantly. Our efforts are decreasing constantly. Time is passing fast. Liabilities are increasing, increasing, increasing. Somehow we need to turn up. Otherwise we're in deficit. If our liabilities are not in control and our investment and assets are not high, guess what? <coughs> Only way out is bankruptcy. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna l-insana la fi khusr. Indeed, the person is in bankruptcy. Unless you do the, this investment. What is the investment? Amanu wa amilu salihat wa tawasu bil haq wa tawasu bil sabr. Four things. Not one. Amanu, iman itself. Yeah, sure. It won't take anywhere. Why wouldn't it take anywhere? Because we Muslims are not like our Christian friends. That we believe in Jesus Christ and my salvation is in his death. That's it. He paid my bill. No, we don't. Muslims have different belief. And the different belief is that Muslim came here for some betterment and Allah has created him or her with the purpose of goal. To get better and do better for this dunya and do something good for this dunya and stand up in front of Allah and say, yes, Allah, you gave me 68 years, I'll try my best. That's what I did. That's what the purpose is. Somebody else does not pay for my bills. To the contrary, in Surah Basa, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, that day everybody will run away. You will stand up individually. So this is the purpose for us to get individually, individual responsibility. What you have done. This is the best time for us. This is the best time to do it. But amanu wa amilu salihat. Before you get that far, let's go back to Asr again. Some scholars say when people die, they feel like at the death time, when they see angel of death, it's Asr time. Sun is setting. The moment you think, oh, it's my Asr time. I have to pray. The sun is setting. That's what Asr, your life is setting. The sun of your life is going down. Think about it. Another aspect is that you have a child. You don't have a child for 10 years, 15 years. Allah has blessed you with a child. MashaAllah, great. Allah has blessed me with a child. Son, this is a son. This is my life. This is my you know, future. This is my excellent, right? You're happy. Same thing, the sun in the morning, the rise, you stand up in front of the sun in the east. What happens? It comes in front of you, right? Keep on standing there and focus. What sun comes at the peak, 
at the peak. There's no sajda allowed at that time. There's no sajda allowed when the sun is rising. There's no sajda allowed when the sun is setting. Because people used to worship at that time, whatever reason. Hadith said to, tells us not to do it. Your life is the exact same way. You're born, yay, excellent, people are happy, great. We have a child, we have a daughter, we have a son. Right? Your life. When you're young, you're teenage, you get to school, you say, yes, I want to become a lawyer, I want to change the whole world, I want to bring the justice. You become a doctor, like, yes, I'm going to have a cure, I'm going to have a clinic, I'm going to do free work. You become an ingenious, yes, I'm going to invent something, inshallah. You know what, for salat, you act for the masjid, I'm going to do something. Your ambition, your goal, you really want to do something when you're young. Guess what, when it comes to the peace, yes, I can do it. But when sun sets, afternoon, it's behind you. You standing, you thought it's still there, it's no longer there, it's behind you. Your life is going this way. It's Asr time. What comes after Asr? Maghrib. A dark. Sun sets. Nothing there. So our life sun is already setting. We don't realize it. We are in deficit. We don't realize it. Our assets are decreasing. Liabilities are increasing. We don't realize it. Allah used the word khasara, the bankruptcy. We are being bankrupt. <coughs> moment by moment, moment by moment, the interest rate on the bank, on the mortgage is going up. Same way, my life. The things that I do out of 24 hours, maybe 10 good deeds. But guess what? There are 500 bad deeds. So my liabilities are going up and up and up. My ass is going down and down. Allah says, that's the problem for you. Some scholars say the people who are from developing country, I don't like to use the word third world and fourth world and first world. Allah has created, we are all equal. Only criteria Allah has given us is inna ka ma'akum in Allah has ka'akum, which is in our heart. Nobody knows whose heart is good. Only Allah knows. But that in developing country, you can probably relate to this. When you buy um, ice, generally it doesn't come in a bag. Let's, let's picture Iraq or Pakistan or Egypt. If you buy in like 90 degree or 104 degree out there, and you buy a bag of ice in small cubes, by the time you get to the house, it's going to melt. It's going to become water. So generally people sell there with a big chunk, with a block, and then chip it off. So how much you need? Okay, five bucks, here it is. They chip it off. Can you imagine that? Many of you have seen it, can relate to that, right? That's what the scholar says. Your life is that you have bought this ice, that's the only business you have. You had only hundred dollar and you bought this block of ice and you're about to sell in a market and it's a hot weather, you cannot sell it by keeping it in your house, it will melt. You have to go out on the street where the weather is so hot. People need ice in a hot weather. But the problem is that if they don't buy in time, it's going to melt away. And your hundred bucks is going to be just in a drain. So you say, Ali, please somebody have mercy. Somebody have mercy, buy this off, use it for your benefit. I can recoup my money. I can go in front of Allah and say, yes, my 60 years, I have done something. Oh Allah, you have given me rock of ice for 60 years. I did something. It's melting away. That's what it is. Well, awesome. That's the time. It's melting. We don't realize it. But what was our ultimate responsibility? We have a president of the United States. Many of us, including myself, we're US citizens. We're proud. You know why we're proud? Because in the Quran and Hadith, there is nowhere as a student of Islam, I see there's one state for Muslims. There's none. To the contrary, Quran says, see you, beloved. There's not a single country on the planet where Muslims are not involved. Every single country has Muslims. So for us, any country is, every country is Muslim. We need to become the best Muslim. We need to get involved in the system. We came here by choice, many of us. Matter of fact, every single one of us came here by choice. Because this country belonged to Native Indians. But some of those kids who were born here are fine. But your parents, your grand grandparents. We came here with the responsibility. Allah has placed you here with the responsibility and goal. Allah could have placed you at the bottom of the ocean when you are traveling from Syria to go to Italy and your boat, boat is flipped upside down. Allah could have placed you somewhere in Iraq right now and you've been bombarded. Allah could have placed you somewhere else in a lot more suffering you can imagine. Stop complaining and Allah has placed you in the best place in the world that you can imagine. Get out there and do what you're supposed to do because you are in deficit. The ice is melting. Walasra, time is passing. And this is the best time. For us as a Muslim, we're supposed to go out and give the best responsibility, being a best teacher, best husband, best brother, best sister, best management, best board of director, best mayor, best congressman. 
That's what's supposed to be. That was the criteria of a Muslim. What Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to the Mulk. Well, I Ahsan amala. I want the best of amal, not aksal amala. I learned to say that I want a bundle, bring the bag full to me. No, no, give your best shot. Aksan amala. I want to test you with aksan amala. Where is your aksan amala? Where is your aksan amala? I don't want it. My matters between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, your matters between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Think how many times you're late. Even come for the salat, you're late. In your own job, you're late. There are airlines from our countries, a Muslim country, there's already pre-recording. Check it tonight. The flight is tomorrow at 2 o'clock. You call tonight to verify the flight. It will say, we apologize for the delay. We apologize for the delay. A flight is tomorrow, for God's sake. But the recording is already there. The assumption is, yes, we're going to be delayed. Yes, we're going to be late. That's what our deen is. Deen is a total, ultimate punctuality. Try to break your fast a little bit late, you know, half an hour extra, why not? I'm going to give hunger for Allah, why not? No. Try to pray this a little bit late. We'll combine it, you know what? At 4 o'clock, Jummah, why not? We're going to have more gathering, people come up from the office. No. Hajj, you know why? Why don't we do it in summertime? You know, it's a good vacation for kids. I'll drop them in the way and go in summertime. No. Every single thing is time, 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 punctuality. Where are Muslims? Where are we? This is what our deen is. We are in deficit and debt that we don't pay attention. Now let's come back to it. We need to do four things. Those who speak Arabic, correct me if I'm wrong. Amanu wa amilu Wa, wa, wow. Wow means end, end, end. You thought in your house, yes, I want to pray today in the masjid. Great thought. That's your iman. That wouldn't would not have brought you to masjid. You have to get up and start your car. And you have to drive. And you have to follow the rules. You put the cross at that light, you would have been dead. So end and end and end and end. There are four ends. So Amanu wa Amilu Salihat. Not only Iman, because he would remember he was in the first row in the masjid. Amilu wa Amilu said, no, 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 no. Amilu Salihat happened outside. <coughs> And that supersedes in every single aspect of the old life. You know why? Because only two kinds of right Allah has given us. Allah, Allah's right and people's right. Allah says the day of judgment, what my rights, me and you will work it out. But people's right, if they don't forgive you, tough luck. He in Allah is Qadr Mutlaq. He has Control every single thing. But say, no, 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 no. The ultimate test was that you supposed to treat each other nicely. You both had an even plan, equal plan, everything equal ground. What did you do? No, ask that person to forgive you, then I will forgive you. So this Akukul Ibad in a way supersede Akukullah. Why? Because Allah wants you to get in Wal Ibad. Go out there, do your best. Amal Saliha. Donation for the masjid. The roof is happening. Please do donate. <coughs> there are there, how many people? Because we should have been, uh, Amal Salihat does not happen in your seclusion in the Hajj time. Amal Salihat does not happen in the first row in Masjid. Amal Salihat, the action happened out there. Out there in parking lot, out there in public, out there in the media, out there in your profession. As I mentioned many times, every single one of us, those who are adult people, as parents, you are paying a salary, a direct involvement with the 10 people in your life. They are sustaining, they are living off of you. Have you ever had a chance to talk to them? Your accountant, every year, doesn't matter you like it or not, you have to pay tax. Even you die with a death tax, inheritance tax. <coughs> Who's your accountant? Have you ever had a chance to invite him or her to your house? Talk about Dean? Talk about Islamophobia? Hatred? Did you? Your lawyer, you got a house. Your teachers, children's teacher, karate teacher, swimming teacher. You have also PTA, principal of your school. The 10 people directly involved with you as a parent. Have you had a chance to talk to them? Who am I? Have you a chance to invite them to your house? Go out there and search whatever mechanism you can use. Americans do not hate Islam or Muslim. Majority of Americans, they are ignorant. They don't know what's right or wrong and fear. And that's what we need to go. We should have been Amalu Salihat. We should have been out there in war. But that's why I say this is the best time for us. You know why? Because they're coming to us, asking us questions. One point blank. What do you think? Hey, go back. 
this is time for dialogue, time for discussion. That's why I say this is the best time. You like it or not, you're talk of the town. You like it or not, you're on a menu. So this is the time. Amanu amalu saliha. Two. Watawaso bil haq, watawaso bil sabr. Haq, what is haq? Some scholars say it's Quran. But let me talk about Al haq is Allah's name. Allah's name is Al haq. Haq is what? Truth. Stand up for the principles that are already established. Justice. Equality. What's Allah? Have we seen Allah? Anybody? So how do we know it does exist? Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us. How do we know it exists? Because we stand up here and we say, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Sustainers of all the universe. We don't know how many are there. Yet to billions of galaxies will be discovered. But what Allah tells us with his safar, with adjectives, that he's Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. The first thing Allah wants you to know him is Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. He's a sustainer of everybody. But who is this? Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. That's the first sifa Allah wants us. Every single surah out of Tawbah, out of 114 except Tawbah, Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Always merciful, always what? Are we always merciful? Are we always caring? So this is what something we Al-Haq is what? One of the aspects of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al-Haq, Allah is Haq. What does he, how he introduced, the first thing he introduced in the Quran, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Are we fulfilling the haq obligation? Are we Rahman or merciful, always caring? Are we? When you have Iman, you get out to do the right thing out there, and you are talking about things based on mercy, equality, justice, harmony, life going to be tough. Life is going to be tough. Your own spouse is not going to like it. Your own teacher is not going to like it. Your board of director will not like it. Your trustee won't like it. Your master won't like it. Your own master, master will say, you know, you're outsider. Then comes what a wasaw bisabr. Remind each other, hey, everybody, have perseverance. Somebody's bigger and better. He knows all of us. Just let's give your best shot. Have faith in Allah. Do your good job. Talk about peace and harmony. Talk about Rahman. Don't worry. Hang in there. These are the four things that we need to do now. We have only first one, and the first one, Aminu, is to the point that we say, this is Haram, this is Bidah, this is Shirat, this is Kufar, he's going to heaven, he's going to hell. Wait a second. That's the first one, Aminu. Where's Aminu Salihat? Where's Haq? Where's Sabah? So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us wisdom, vision, and strength. Then we go back just as Imam Shaki said, for me the Quran was a blessing, but just Surah Allah was more than enough as a guidance for mankind. So may Allah give us wisdom, vision, and strength that we go back and read this Surah, the second smallest Surah in Quran. And we, we, we act upon it and we come out of this deficit that Allah said the bankruptcy is happening to you, to us. May Allah keep us protected. May Allah guide us to the path. Amin summa amin. In Allah wa laikata yu salluna ala nabi. Ya yu al-lazeen amun salluna ala yu sallimu taslima. Can you please move this side? Zakal khayyad. Because people are walking in. إن الحمد لله صلاة سلام على سيد المرسلين خاتم النبيين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وفي نزاب النار ربنا زلمنا أنفسنا وإلا تكف لنا وترحمنا لنا كنا نعمل خاسرين الله من الناس لكم من الخير كله ونوز بك من شر كله آمين سماع من يارب العالمين I just want to also remind all of you that Delaware community has mashallah bought a graveyard Muslim graveyard We'll probably have a settlement today at ISD. And many of the people from this community are also involved in that project. Try to buy the grave. This is the first kind of Muslim, all Muslim graveyard. It's not that far from here, less than maybe 25 minutes drive. So try to purchase the graveyards. You know, we have million dollar houses, but yeah, we have thought about it. That's the ultimate house. So please contribute, donate, volunteer, involve as much as you can. Inshallah, closing will happen today. It's all lot bought by right now. It's a 16 acre that are owned by, run by, managed by Muslims. So may Allah give us wisdom to work and cooperate with each other. Amin. So may Allah give us wisdom.